welcome back to another video. Happy New Year to you all. I hope you've had a lovely Christmas. Um, I am back with my first video of the New Year and it is a Tesco grocery shop. So it came in at about £90 and um, I feel like that is kind of going to be how much our shopping will be now, which sounds like quite a lot, but I have worked it out per person per day and I think it's about £3.20 per person per day for the week, which I don't think for breakfast and dinner for four of us and lunches um, for um, two or three of us is too bad. And obviously I have got my like non-food items as well. So what I'm gonna do is pop all the prices on for you. And then at the end, I'm gonna give you a food total and then like a non-food total or a total total. Um, so that if you're not really budgeting for non-food items in your weekly shop you can see how much the food would have cost um and then um going forward i'm actually going to be doing um a grocery shop on a tuesday and then on a saturday i'm going to be uploading a five meals for 25 pounds for your family so they're all going to be family friendly healthy-ish kind of norm what i consider normal sort of family food um, and i'm going to do five dinners for 25 pounds which i'm hoping will be really helpful for people trying to save some money on their um food shop in the new year um so that's what i'm going to do going forward so it'll be my two videos and then there may also be a few others in between if i'm doing like some different recipes or some baking or anything like that um there might be some others in between but those are the two i'm going to be doing every single week so if that's your kind of thing please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos it really does help out my channel and it kind of lets me gauge who's watching and, and who's enjoying um so that i can sh make sure that i'm making things that you actually want to watch and that are helpful so without further ado i will spin you around and show you what i picked up from tesco this week okay so i'll start as always with the fresh fruit and veg i've actually got a new camera for christmas so bear with me on this first video because um i'm not sure it's a bit of trial and error so but hopefully it's a lot clearer um so the first thing i've grabbed is a bag of the easy peelers and they were on club card offer got a bag of the small kids apples and these ones are actually like granny smith or oh golden delicious but that um archie will be pleased he likes green apples so got those i picked up a honeydew melon for a change because um that was on club card offer as well and we haven't had melon for ages everyone's sort of gone off i love bananas so i've got a big bunch of bananas um but everyone else has kind of gone off a lot of other things so i've got melon for archie and raspberries there for henry he loves raspberries um so i got those for a change i've also got a line there that's for my husband's rum um on new year because i forgot to get it over christmas so i picked one up for new year i won't actually be drinking because i had my treatment on friday um, and i'm on steroids so i'll just be on the apple tizer um, but I've got that for his rum. And then the veg, I've got four big loose carrots. I've got a bag of the cherry tomatoes. These are just the cheaper Nightingale Farm ones. Um, I have done some like how to save money on your food shop videos before and like tips. So I'll leave them linked down below. Um, but basically, I'll just try and shift down a brand when I can. So I've got like the Nightingale cherry tomatoes. And then we've also got the Nightingale Farms mixed peppers which is handy because i need a green pepper for a recipe and two red peppers for a recipe so that pack actually works out really well so i've got those um and then i've got cucumber which as always is just for um on the sides of dinners and lunches and sandwiches i've got a head of broccoli which as you know i buy pretty much every week because we normally have broccoli and carrots on the sides of dinners so i've got a big broccoli and then i've got a big head of garlic i always say head bulb of garlic that's a large one because that's going to do quite a few recipes this week um obviously you can buy lazy garlic or whatever but um i do quite like the fresh um and it works out really economical i think that was 55p and you obviously get a lot of cloves in there so i grabbed that um onions i've got two red onions and two white onions and i think they're all 21p each 
potatoes. Um, I've got baking potatoes, and these were on Club Cod offer for 40 something P. So um, it actually worked out cheaper to buy three packs of the baking potatoes rather than I was going to get one pack of these and then a pack of the normal potatoes, the, you know, the cheap white potatoes. Um, but they worked out the same price, so I got three packs of those. Um, and then the fresh meat, I've got two packs of the Woodside Farm Bacon, which again is their cheaper range. And we find that absolutely fine. You can see it's, you know, it's not too fatty. I'm going to have one for sandwiches and one, well, probably half a pack for a recipe. Um, so I've got those. Now the chicken, I ordered the um, Willow Farms diced chicken, which was going to be £2.50. And they actually subbed it for just the normal Tesco um, chicken, but they obviously charged me £2.50. Um, but if this isn't on offer, you can get the Woodside Farm one for £2.50 if you're in store. Or they normally have some kind of chicken breast on um, Club Card offer. So you pick up whatever you can that's around £2.50 if you're wanting to do my five meals for £25. Um, so I've got that. I've got a pack of pork sausages for a dinner. Um, a pack of the lean beef steak mints. Um, I have bought the cheaper ones sometimes, but I do find it a bit greasy. And we are trying to be a bit healthier going into the new year. So I did pick up the 5% um, fat one. So I've got that. And then I've got one of the Willow Farms whole chickens, um, which is going to be for a roast, which is one of my recipes. Um, so that, and I find, although it says serves five, maybe we're greedy, but we can easily eat that between four. And there's sometimes a little bit left of like the thigh meat and the wings to make my husband his chicken soup. Um, so we normally get a dinner and a lunch. Um, so I grabbed that one. Um, and then... I've got a couple of rump steaks, which I think are going to be for New Year's Eve. Obviously, they're a bit pricier. They're not included in my um, five meals. Um, because I'm going to be doing five kind of budget. And then at the weekend, we tend to have like a treat meal. My husband and I like will stick on a film and have, I suppose, a bit like a date night kind of dinner. Um, and have that. So I've got steak this time. And then we also like to have a pizza night of a um, Friday usually. So um, I thought I wouldn't do that as one of my recipes because, you know, you don't need to see me just stick some pizzas in the oven. So I've got my husband and I, a Pizza Express Sloppy Giuseppe. I've got the boys, their normal favourite pe pepperoni. So that's just the Tesco stone-baked thin pepperoni one, which was a good price. And then their all-time favourites are the Pizza Express garlic dough balls. And these were on club card offer. I don't normally buy them when they're full price because they are quite pricey. Um, but I thought for the um, New Year weekend, it'd be quite nice. So we'll have, um, have those one night as well. And then the last couple of chilled bits, I've just got our usual extra mature um, cheese, which is a good price. I think it's £3 for 400 grams. We've got our clover that we always get, and clover light is my favourite. That was on offer, so I've got one of those. Um, one of the Eastman's um, wafer thin cooked ham, which is just for sandwiches, really, and toasties. Um, so I got one of those. And our usual four pint of blue milk, and that is all in the line of the chilled stuff. Um, and then the cupboardy stuff, I've got four tins or five tins, sorry, of the Heinz vegetable soup. So I've got four vegetable and one uh, cream of tomato. Oh, that one's gone overboard. They were five for five pounds. So I grabbed those. Um, and then I've got the boys, some beans and pork sausages. And then for recipes, I've got a tin of coconut milk. A tin of butter beans, um, some mango chutney and some teriyaki sauce. And then to stock up the cupboard, I've also got one of the cheaper Growers Harvest tomato purees and a new paprika, which is only a pound from Tesco. So I grabbed that for the cupboard. Um, and then I've also got some of the Growers Harvest cheaper long grain rice, which like I've mentioned before, I know a lot of people say it doesn't cook very well. I do find if you just don't overcook it and then you rinse it, it's absolutely fine. So I think if it's going stodgy, you're probably cooking it too long. Um, so I've got the Growers Harvest and then also the Hearty Food 
penne pasta, which we find absolutely fine. I do sometimes buy the whole meal um, pasta, but in the name of like the budget recipes, I thought I would, this one's really sort of economical to buy. So I've got that one. Um, I've got a batter mix there, which is to make my own Yorkshire's for the roast. Obviously, you could just use um, flour and milk, but I thought this is quite easy to price up. You just need water and one egg. Um, so I thought for my recipe, that would be easier. And also, um, I do usually buy frozen, but I thought it'd be quite nice to make some. So I've got that. And then the granulated sugar, I ordered a one kilogram pack, but they subbed it for two kilograms. But obviously, I paid the same price. So um, I've got a huge sugar. So some of that will go in my tin and then some will go in the cupboard. Um, I've got the boys a four pack of J2O. They really enjoyed their ones over Christmas. So I've just got a four pack for New Year. Um, and then some snacky bits. I've got some blackcurrant bear yo-yos. They're on offer for £2. And um, I've got some sweets because for New Year I'm going to do like some pick and mix cups. And it works out a lot cheaper um just to buy these so i've got some strawberry pencils some fizzy cola laces and some fizzy colored belts and then also some of the milk bottles which will be for like some pick and mix cups um and then i'll stay with the snacks i've also got some of these jalapeno and cheese max strong crisps for my husband and i for new year's eve if you don't like spicy crisps don't buy these they absolutely blow your face off i find them a little bit zingy for me but my husband really loves them um so i got those and then i've got some sweet popcorn as well because i'm going to do popcorn and the pick and mix sweets and we'll probably put a movie on on new year's eve so we'll have a little treat um, and then the bakery bits, I've got some part white, uh, part white, part baked white baguettes, which are going to go with a dinner. I've got some garlic and coriander naan breads for a dinner. I've got the boys some scotch pancakes for breakfast. These are really good. I think they're like 40 something P. So they're really economical. Um, I've got one of these lightly seeded Tesco loaves. Um, these are really nice and they're 85p a lot cheaper than the branded and they're really really tasty i haven't got any 50 50 because i do still have one in the freezer um so i just picked that one up um and then lastly the non-food items and like that i say i will do a separate price for these um in case you just want to know the food total so i've got one of the domestos toilet rim blocks I've got some of the Comfort. This was like a, a special edition. Um, oh, what is it called? Let's see. Um, winter Indulgence. So that sounds really nice. That's like a special winter one. I've got some Rhubarb and Rose Washing Up Liquid. A Jumbo Kitchen Towel. Some Apple anti back Spray. And some Harpic Lime Scale Remover. If you get Lime Scale in your toilet, I'd really recommend this. It really does work. It's the only thing that I found got the Lime Scale out. So I've got one of those. I've got Duke, some of his meaty strips there. He's completely out. So I've got a pack of those. And then, as you know, if you've been here ages, it's treatment week. So I've got paracetamol and ibuprofen. Um, I always get those on treatment week because I'm always headachey and whatnot. So I've got those, and I think that is everything. Don't think I've missed any. Oh, hang on, I have missed one thing, and that is the only frozen thing I bought was my husband a gym kitchen chicken tikka masala, which he will have for lunch probably shortly. Um, that was the only frozen thing that I bought. Everything else is nice and fresh. So that is everything that I picked up from Tesco. I will pop the food price on the screen for you now and then i will pop on the price now for the non-food items which is just those sort of cleaningy bits and then i'll give you the total spend which like i say i think was about 90 pounds ish so don't think that's too bad. I know it's not as cheap as you can get it, but going into the new year, trying to eat healthy, fresh food and whatnot and getting your cleaning bits, I don't think £3 per person a day is that bad. Uh, I think that's just the price of food nowadays. And um, I'm not really willing just to eat chicken nuggets and 
junk all the time just to keep the bill down i'd rather spend a bit more and eat healthily so that is what we've got and then i'm going to pop that all away um and then obviously like i say my i'll share with you the meal plan um and then that video showing you all of the recipes for five meals for 25 pound will be up on saturday so don't forget to subscribe and tune in for that one but anyway i'll stop rambling get it in the fridge and um i will be back in a sec with the meal plan Okay, and here is a look at our meal plan. So today is Saturday and we're gonna have pizza and dough balls and I think my husband and I are gonna have some salad. Sorry about the light, it's one of those stupid strip lights and it's always in my way. Um, tomorrow is New Year's Eve, so instead of having a roast, we're gonna have steak, potatoes and veg and I will probably do the boys maybe some fish fingers, potatoes and veg instead because they're not keen on steak. And then Monday, I'm going to do the roast um, for New Year's Day dinner. And that's one I'm going to um, video for my five meals for 25. Um, and then I'm doing a slow cooker chicken curry, a teriyaki beef, a sausage and butter bean stew, and a roasted veg and bacon pasta. So you'll see all of those five on my video. Um... And then I do share like other bits and bobs, pictures and stuff of my dinners over on Instagram. Um, so I'll put my Instagram name at the bottom and you can go and um, follow me over there if you want to. I tend to just like do pictures of our dinners like on stories and like share some reels of like um, recipes and bits and bobs. So if you want to follow me over there, I'll leave that below. But thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video and a very happy new year. And um, yeah, I'll see you in my next one.